Hey, what's up, guys? Manny Huni Staka here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, today, I'm gonna ask you guys, uh, do you know your AACs? So, I'm gonna show you guys uh, four coins today. And I just wanna see if uh, you guys can spot some differences. So, I'm gonna start off with this 1900 AAC. As you can see, the details isn't so great. It was all beat up because it's all probably. So now this is a 1987 ASC. Kind of thick coin cap was back in the day. Looks pretty good still. So now this is a two thousand three AC. Showing the reverse. Little close out there. And finally, I'm going to show you the 2014. Sorry, hear the background noise. Yeah. What you guys think? So I'm gonna use some movie magic. Uh, I'm gonna kind of circle some things oh, for you guys. So it's just some differences. Uh, let's start off with the 2013. Look at the dates, uh, the size of the dates. Um, the L in Liberty. Moving on to the details in the flag. Uh, the centering of the E right there on the top of the Liberty said. Look at the uh, in God we trust. Uh, look at that. You and, and a lot of the fix. Uh, sometimes the footing is off. So let's look at this. 2014. Look at the L. It has more of an angle. Look at the details in the flag. The date, the uh, and God we trust to you. One has a tail and the other one doesn't. So I'm gonna flip this around. Starting off with the U and the United. Look at that difference in there. Uh, all real ASCs has a feather, a little bit of the feathering on the shield there. Or a dash. The differences in the U. 
on the all. How you can see one is more oval than the other one is more full. The, uh, looking at the dasher, looks more like a Z. On the, on the 14, it's more of like a wave. Just another look. You see that that dot? Some of the fix is gonna be a little bit wider. So going back to this 1900 ASC. Notice the rim, the details, the finish on the coin, the flag details in the back. So I'm about to show you guys uh, another way of looking at it. Say you see if you find this at the, at the store and you come across uh, some ACs. Uh, let's see if you could be able to spot differences just by looking at them, just by visually chewing into the clues do you know your ACs okay sorry that one fell down yeah let's see that again I'm gonna flip it again for you guys Anything look kind of odd? Something about this 1900 ASC. Not, you know, giving me the rub, the rub is rubbing around the hard way. Again, just looking at it. Kind of look questionable. Okay, I hope you guys kind of got the hint. Here's the reveal. Yep, winner, winner. 1900 ASE. It's fake. They only made ACs from 1986 to 2018. This is a fake one on the weight. 0.59 troy ounce. And here's the real one. One ounce, of course. Oh, going down the slide. I'll have to feature this slide one day. Another one. Oh, here's the Morgan going down the slide. These are 90%. And of course, they don't weigh an ounce, troy ounce. Oh, a piece dollar. Oh, was rail sliding, was grinding the rail. I try again. There you go. But wait, there's more. Look, even in the cap. 
start catching. Okay. How about we try this one? A mark bar, one ounce. Oh, Hamilton mint in the plastic sleeve. How about this stash of Liberty? Or slide them down just for fun. Good, nice condition. Uh, 1974 ingot. Okay, that's enough for now. So what happens when you put the 1900 AC on the sled? Stuck. Okay, so I guess you can pause the video here if you want. I'll zoom in. Just some key takeaways for this video. So, vintage of the ACs, 1986 to 2018. Know your years, uh, you know. You can do the quick reverse, reverse flip. And of course, detailing. Finding the differences between the years. So I had this um, Goldust certificate, three ounce silver bar uh, for any of the older stackers or if you guys um, ever seen this before uh, please let me know um, more about it I haven't uh, found anything on the internet or whatnot I tried the uh, web address but it, it doesn't really give me much information it's strange because it has a little chip right there I'm putting it out see the little square look like maybe an IR chip in there not sure what it is but I guess it's tracked and um, not exactly what, what it is it's 3 ounces of 999 silver and from my what I can tell or what I, information I did gather the gold does is um, some kind of jury company so it's a middle east or some, something like that so that's about it thanks for watching and let me ask you uh, do you know your ASEs hopefully uh, I maybe taught you guys something today so until next time uh, if you guys have any comments or questions uh, just post them down below my first uh, video where I actually spoke a lot so so trying to get used to this commentating and actually I haven't edited anything it's my first time doing it and I hopefully I'll get better but you know you guys take care keep stacking uh, you know have a good day when you see Joe Average walking down the street just tell him bro do you even stack that's right